Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the DIY stacked bin, and we're going to see what they're up to. Last week was when we started it, or a week and a half ago, whenever that was. So we're going to take a look and see what we've accomplished. Looks like the mold and mites might be getting into the uh, apple, but let's see if there's anything else going. Looks like they're in the onion and the banana. The temperature must be slowing them down a little bit. It's hard to believe this has lasted two weeks. So I'm going to feed them, but I'm going to feed them kind of lightly. It looks like they're really, well, it looks like they're really not needing any food. So I think I'm going to get them a little bit more bedding instead, since they have been working on the carrot. I'm going to go ahead and stack their food back up and then give them a little bit more moist bedding. All right, so we're going to give them some paper bedding this time. The leaves seem to be drying out quite a bit, so I'm going to give them a little paper. And I can link up top to where I have the prepared bedding explanation, but this already has a grit in it already. So I don't know if you can kind of tell, little specks of grit in there, a little bit of sand, a little bit of oyster shell. So I'm not going to feed them because they already have enough food over there and the temperature is pretty low. But what I am going to do is I am going to get them a little bit of a cover so that they don't dry out here in the basement when the heat's on forever. All right, they will just get their little bubble wrap cover, especially over where the food is, and that will keep them from drying out too much. But let me pull the top off here and then we'll see what's going on below. All right, here we are in the bottom layer, in the middle layer, and we're just going to look and see what they're doing. Looks like they're doing pretty good. They also have an apple that they're going through. Grab that tag while I'm thinking of it. And so they've got enough food down here. They also do not need a feeding this time. I think it's a little bit dry, so let me get my sprayer. So this is just my one liter sprayer, got it at the dollar store, five bucks. Um, works really well for giving lights amount of water. But that should keep everybody nice and happy while the heat's going. All right, let's look at the next layer. All right, here we are on the bottom. This generally stays nice and wet but I think the paper maybe wasn't as wet as it needed to be when I first put it in here, so I think I'm going to give them a little bit of water too. I'm just looking to see if I did put any food in here at all. Not, not seeing anything. So I'm going to give them a little bit down here just to keep everybody happy. Okay, so I'm just going to give them a little bit of bread that has gone bad and a little bit of the carrot. And then I'm going to spray them a little bit and that should be it. Yep, these red wigglers and European night crawlers and the blue worms uh, seem to be faring very well in the 55 degree weather that we have in the basement right now. So you can see they're still very active and looking good. All right, let's put this back together. Alright guys, well that is it for the DIY stacked bin. Um, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up, and if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button, and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.